गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स साई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल वन फ्रेंड फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र फॉर फ्यू वीक्स रिपीटेडली रिमाइंडिंग मी टू डिस्कस ऑन दिस शॉर्ट स्टोरी by kobi guru rabindranath yes friends i will discuss it for yes, one year back i have discussed on this both in bengali and english friends you can revisit both this both in bengali and english both in facebook and youtube my facebook and youtube okay i am repeating today maybe from a different plane okay <coughs> i am starting okay thank you joydev shortcut konkona thank you botnam is a short story by kobi guru rabindra in the last of your of his life composed very hurriedly in sick bed you can call dying bed in the last of of his life in may 1941 and the background of this writing must mention and how he has it was so hurriedly published and he was so eager to see this short story published before his death though many of his writings remained unpublished which we are published after his death but he was very interested to see this short story published in his lifetime the short story originally in the rovindra rachana boli published by vishwabharati original original vishwabharati rachana boli vishwabharati published rachana boli of rovindranath is of 29 volumes 28 volumes having contents and 29 volume is only the indexing yes and subsequently vishwabharati again published i think in 16 volumes yes 16 volumes now of that series the fourteenth is this is the I am with the fourteenth volume by Vishwarup. Yes, fourteenth volume. The chapter is Golpa Gucho. Here, the short story Bodnam belongs to the group Golpa Gucho. This is of page one. Five, six, seven, eight, eight pages. Eight pages short story. The composition started from eleventh, completed in twenty twenty one June. But as as I go to the other records, here I see the real composition started in May because. there are many kobi guru experts many kobi guru experts their volumes i was seeing trying to see those volumes also their writings because this short story was written not in its own handwriting he was so sick he could not sit on the chair table or on the floor 
to hold the pen and write on the papers to write this story and how it was written when he was in the sick bed lying he was telling his who was nursing him either his putra bodhu or nephews or assistants at different sometimes on the sick bed sometimes when he was being fed sometimes when he was being helped in taking bath bath taking he was just adding few sentences some sentences after sentences and few persons wrote in their diaries then under his instruction the all things were put together compiled and he ordered his assistant to send it to ramananda chattopadhyay the famous literary figure and editor of the internationally famous journal from bengal prabhashi to publish it and he wrote to ramananda chattopadhyay you edit it and publish it ramananda chattopadhyay got afraid alarm he wrote in response to kavi guru how can i edit your writing what is my authority how can i naturally he was waiting he was killing time he was get got frightened how can he edit a writing sent by kavi guru was killing time killing days and repeatedly kobi guru writing in anxiety why not it is being published why not you are editing and publishing and ultimately it was published and you know after publication was shown to kobi guru and you know just after few months i think in august kobi guru died kobi guru after publication of this article got satisfaction however the article had published to at that moment many of his manuscripts on songs poems articles very important they were done published he never pressurized anyone to publish them he realized the importance why so much importance he gave to this article to be published number 1 then i am coming to this coming to this article this 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 short story this is only of eight pages i have told you eight pages this eight page article has got a short story has only three characters one a high police officer of bengal that is british bengal undivided british bengal vijay babu another is onil mittir onil mittir is a bengali revolutionary revolutionary violent revolution onil mittir secretly moving organizing operations against the british rule another character is shoudamini shodu shodu shodamini wife of the police officer vijay babu and by this time 
there is a relation between Shodamini, that is Shodu, with Alimritti. That is, Shodamini is, like a ball, Patano Didi. Shodamini is Patano Didi, adopted elder sister, an older sister of Anilbitti. Anilbitti is the adopted brother of Shodamini. That is the relations. And this Shodamini is protecting Anilbitti in hiding. And Vijay Babu is searching on Ilbitir to arrest him. Clear? The short story, please read it. And why my interest on this short story? Let me again tell the background. I am not a man of the Bengali literature. subject on one side is science and surgery, other side is literature. That's all. Venice. Fifty years back, when I entered the land of literature of Netaji, my seniors, ex-revolutionaries, were surviving at that time, living in Calcutta told me, Bodo, try to read what now about the land. Why? They told what Sisir is telling that he took Subhash Bosch to to Bihar is Dhanbad area to escape from Elgin Road is a false story. The history is something else. And on many inquiry, I could not find any, any anything more about the story. Really how he escaped. It is so sacred then and so sacred still now. But they told some hints are there. Bodhu try to read it repeatedly. This much. And I have read this short story in my last 50 years about 50 times. But I could not decode this. I could not decode this. This mystery. About one year back, midnight, Suddenly, I, it, it passed in my mind. In the literature of Kobi Guru, either poems or short story or articles or novels or poems, wherever, poetry is. The language of Kobi Guru is of an artist, not of a mathematician, not of a scientist. scientist. His language is of the artist, Bengali literature artist. But in the last stanza of the article, I show a mathematical language. In his last para, I show a mathematical language. Why this mathematical language? Guru all along in his whole career of 80 years of his whole lifetime, he is a literary works for more than 70 years. Whole career always is language of a, of a Bengali literature artist, but never of a mathematician. Why this mathematical language? The language is this. आर पंद्रों दिन पौरे खावरे के कागजे बड़ो बड़ो होक करे मेरा बे अनिरे मित्ती पला को। After fifteen days, 
the headlines of the newspapers which we published that Biplavi Anil Mittir had escaped. Why this language? Why this language? I am reading only the last stanza. হঠাৎ গে উঠল বিদেশি গলায় মন্দিরের ভিত থর থর করে কেঁপে উঠল গলার জোরে অবাক হয়ে গেলেন ইন্সপেক্টর বাবু আন্ডার কোর্ট এই গান অনেকবার গেয়েছি আবার গাইব তারপরে চলবো আফগানিস্তানের রাস্তা দিয়ে যেমন করে হোক পথ করে নেব আপনাদের সঙ্গে এই আমার কথা রইল আর পনেরো দিন পরে খবরের কাগজে বড় বড় অক্ষরে বের হবে অনিল অনিল বিপ্লবী পলাত আজ প্রণাম হই This song I have sung many a time. Again I will sing. After this I will move to the way towards Afghanistan. By any way I will make my way towards Afghanistan. This is my word to you. Our Konrodin Pori and after 15 days in the headlines of the newspapers it will be published that revolutionary Onil Mitti he has, 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 has left. And previous line is, I am telling you, you will not be able to catch me, keep me in prison. I will repeatedly sing the song of Rubi Thakur. Amare Bhadhi Tora, E Bhadhan Ki Toder Ache. Amake Bhadhi Tora, এ বাঁধন কি তোমাদের তোদের আছে নিউজ উইল বি পাবলিশ আফটার ফিফটিন ডেজ And for, for decades I was searching materials. How to establish that whatever Shishikos has told is false. I may not be able to tell or establish in exact which way Shubhas Chandra left Elgin Road in mid-1941 secretly and went towards Afghanistan. I do not know. There is no record published. Only few clues. Subsequently spoken out in parliament by parliamentarian very famous parliamentarian sometimes in deposition by very responsible persons in, in commissions on oath which are very important very important much more important than any person like C.C. Bruce who has told this story in the media and never had taken the risk of coming to any court or commission in fear of being exa ex cross examined examined and cross examined very easy to tell a story in the media 
and bribe some press persons or some article writers and publish a story. Very easy, but very difficult to cross the to face the court. Naturally, the story written by Sishir Bose is less important. More important is what are the depositions in the commissions and in the speeches in the parliament and going to this writing. And the dots, there are dots. Yes, they, 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 they very sacred story, there are so many dots. That will take a long time. And till today, the true characters involved in his living Calcutta in 41 January are all in oath of secrecy. No one has violated that oath of secrecy. Am I audible? Is the humming sound is disturbing you? Disturbing you? Is the humming sound disturbing you? Lokesh, is the humming sound is disturbing you? Now, sufficient documents has come to tell at least whatever Sishi Ghosh has told, has written, is false. And subsequently, I will tell why this false story was created. And who funded this? And for which purpose? Have you read the volume of Sishir Ghosh, Mohan Stroma in Bengali? An English volume, Redis Cap. Mohan Stroma, written by him and published by Anand. And Redis Cap by him published by the Nidhi Research Bureau between 70 and 75, 1970 and 75. If you read, please go into. I have gone to this volume, to the volumes several times. That cannot be a real history. Facts cannot be in that way. The narrative of facts cannot be in this way. This is the story. Know here the dates and times. This is story writing. And whatever story is written cannot be executed on ground. If the story cannot be executed on ground, how can it be fact? On midnight, a known car of Boshbari is leaving the campus without the change of the number plate, without change of the color, and the driver without camouflaging, only Shubhas Bos camouflaged. Is it possible? And how can in those days a car of that mechanism of those days leaving El Gindro around 1 a.m. and reaching Dhanbad in the morning without any checks in such a long distance by the police? When there are already declassified files, that when any ghost body car was moving out to meet the Japanese 
ambassador or any member of the embassy in any sacred place, the refuge of Subhas Chandra has to change the card in every step. If you change the number plate of the car, repeat it. So sickly they had to move. And how Sishi Ghosh could do this? And with a known car, known color and known number plate. Sishi Ghosh at that time a third year medical student of medical college, very junior persons, relatively untrained, looked at such a, how he was entrusted with such a huge risk. And in this volumes you will see as if he is the only advisor of Sugar Ghosh in this big mission. And you see, when Sisi Goes was arrested, put to jail, his escape is 1941. And see there his own volume. There the he has submitted some un unstamped, non-stamped police papers of a police home department sanctuary arrest papers. It's claimed to be his original arrest papers. Non-stamped. He is arrested and put to jail in, in 1944. When by this time 41 to 44, many persons have been imprisoned and tortured to death on the charge of the persons to help Subhasbos to escape Elgin Road. Sishi Bose is arrested in 1944. And what is the charge? Not the charge of helping Subhas Chandra to escape, but on a mere charge of a horror block empathizer. And on the charge of being horror block empathizer, thousands of persons from all over the country had, was arrested during this great war. Had he really been involved? Had he really been suspected to be a person involved in the great this escape of Subhas Chandra from El Gindo? That would have been the much important, much serious charge against Shishir. Why it's so simple charge? A general charge on which thousands was kept arrested during Second Great War in different jails for years. For many regimes, there my suspicion. Big holes in its given story. Now, let me fill up the gaps. And coming back to the writings, of Subhas Chandra in, 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 in Subhas Chandra writings of Kobi Guru. And can you imagine the 1941 from his sick bed is reshaping of its famous song Oi Mahamano Guash Oi Mahamano Guash the music to this from a sick bed when, when he could not sit on the sick bed for half an hour he took two consecutive days to give the music tone and this is from the volumes of Santi yes yes and good number of the scholars on Netaji or Kobi Guru writings has told, has written that 
this short story relates to Subhas Chandra leaving Calcutta in 1941 like Prabhat Mukhopadhyay like Rani Chandra all these Yes. Also, the correspondence between this Ramana Chattopadha and Kobi Guru. How we are so eager to see this short story published. And, and you, you know, and Oi Mahana Vashe, yes, Santi Dev Gosh. There I have quoted. Yes. 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 Amyo Chakraborty and all these famous Kobi Guru experts all has discussed on this short story and Oi Mahamano Vashi and, and some other songs and all indicates. Waiting for a day of appearance of a great man, his work torn world. He is waiting for an appearance of a great man, a Mohamano, who will solve the problems of the humanity, who will solve the problems of the humanity. He is waiting for the appearance of the great man. Oi Muhammad and songs, poems, some other poems, all indicates his waiting for appearance of a great man, a Muhammad. And before that, I have discussed three very sacred meetings of. and Shubhastra. The British police is watching from a distance. These two persons are talking to each other for 45 minutes to 1 minutes. Sometimes in Jora Shako, sometimes in Howrah Station Special Coach. But no one else is allowed to stand nearby or stay in between. And None of the two persons, neither Kobi Guru nor Rabindranath, Kobi Guru or Shubhas Chandra ever disclosed the subject of the discussion. And before that, I have discussed in the tussle between the Gandhi Brigade and Shubhas Chandra in Congress how Shubhas Chandra, how Kobi Guru has supported Shubhas Chandra and how. Kobi Guru has criticized and Gandhi and Nehru. How has criticized? And the words used by Kobi Guru to criticize Congress, Gandhi Nehru Congress, he has never used such strong words. Kobi Guru has never used such strong words against anyone to criticize something bad. Very strong words, unusual strong words against Gandhi Nehru. And you, I have also mentioned in my volume about Vichitra in all these writings how Rundanath was so nationalist, was sympathetic to the revolutionary. How he helped the revolutionaries. You know how he helped Rasbihari Bush. How he collected money in America and sent secretly to Japan, Emperor, to 
distribute that money to the Indian revolutionaries in Southeast Asia. Subsequently, all American documents, classified documents, declassified. And naturally, quite natural. There is some very close relations, very sectoral relations, not known to us, not even disclosed to us, disclosed subsequently even to. And here in this story, I have yet to decode. Do you know the paintings of the Renisha era, the Italian artist? Like Da Vinci, Da Vinci, you have you read Da Vinci quote? Paintings of Da Vinci. Today, today researchers are telling in the layers of the paintings of Da Vinci, there are mysteries. Coded relating to the mystery of the life of Jesus Christ. Let me repeat in the layers of paintings of the Da Vinci, there are mysteries of the life of Jesus Christ. There are some mysteries. Life of Jesus Christ. If there are anyone try to openly tell all these, all those things, Vatican will very cruel. Vatican will criticize them and arrest and put to prison. Because those were at that age, but the Pope was the ruler of the region. They were the religious leader and the political ruler. Pope was dictating all times. He cannot tell anything what only what Babylon, Vatican approves. The life history of Jesus will have to be remain confined within them. You cannot go beyond. You cannot ask questions. They are going Bible. They are the absence of any sentence. From the, from the age of 13 to 30 of Jesus Christ, where at that time Jesus was. And this <coughs> resurrection, phenomenon of resurrection. Why resurrection? What does it really mean? If you demand such questions from Vatican, because in Bible, they are not explained. They will be put to prison. But the scholars of the OS has tried for very early days, till today they are trying to decode all these areas to find out the truth. In Da Vinci's paintings, those mysteries are there. And you know the big artists, big writers, do not feel very easy to write every truth in his lifetime, on the happenings of his life, in his life. Some very rulers and politicians are bad many times, they are misdeeds, scribes. A writer cannot write always in his life. Openly. They have to write very cautiously very consciously, cautiously, carefully, in a coded language in his writings. Bodna means of that pain. Here, the story of escape, story of leaving Subhash Chandra, story of Subhash Chandra leaving Calcutta in mid January 1940. The steps was mostly in Calcutta. And even he knew when he had escaped, which way he had escaped, and when 
it will be published. These things are in a very cautious language, coded language in this parliament. 15 days. Yes. When in the Indian journals, in the morning editions, the mysterious the living of Subhas Prabhu from Calcutta appeared. It was 27th January 1941. Right? Am I right? Let me see my book. 27th January 19. 27th January. Yes, 27th January. Yes. In all, all papers. Morning session. It was Monday. Throughout the whole day of Sunday, that is 26th, Sharad Bosch and his family and all the advices of the Sharad Bosch, well admirers, well admirers of Sugash Bosch, they came to the Bosch body. They all planned how to dispatch this, this present this news of Bose leaving Elgin Road, Bose leaving Elgin Road, yes, Elgin Road. How this will be given to the newspapers and to the police and to the court. Because 27th Monday was the ultimate day of physical appearance of Subhas Chandra in Alipur. Monday morning, news was given to the newspapers. Sunday evening it was given and published in Monday newspapers. Now, from 27, you go back. Kobi Guru has told, after 15 days, news will be, asked, news will be in the headlines. then it is gap of 15 days or back 15 days, that is gap 14 days. It will be in calculations on 12th January or 13th January. As per this story, Subhas Chandra left Elgin to any time on 12th January or 13th January. somewhere in the midnight in Santi Neketa. It's from the diary of Dr. Pavitra Mukhra. One clue. They, I mean, I'm coming to some other depositions and speeches. Yes. All these depositions and speeches I have given in my last volume, Bichitra. Once is the Parliament speech, Shoshanko Shekhar Shanna in Lok Shobha, 3rd August 1977. Shoshanko Shekhar Shanna is a famous revolutionary, associate of Shobhashtra and Aristotle. His speech, what? What? He is telling. I had my talk to Subhas Chandra in Elgin Road on 3rd January and he escaped from 
here on 13th January. The big speech is one, two, three, three, four pages. I'm giving, yes. And he's telling there are long discussions with me, but without his permission, I cannot disclose. I am waiting for his permission. This is the oath of secrecy, even in 1977. From a person, a parliamentarian, a revolutionary, a barrister, of age of 75 years. What is its gain in lying? Need he frame story to be popular? No. Then, Sunil Das. Sunil Das. He is a man of science. He is having research work on chemistry under 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 Professor Ghosh in Dhaka University. Professor Gan Ghosh. You can call him the father of chemistry in India. If you call Professor P. Shirai as the grandfather of Indian chemistry, Professor Ghosh the disciple of Professor P. Shirai is the father of chemistry, is the founder, director, creator of IIT Kharagpur, is the first creator, founder, director of the IIT Kharagpur, the biggest of the all IITs in India. Our first and biggest IIT of all five IITs in India. Sunil Das. He left laboratory. He became a revolutionary. He became a follower of Shubhas Chandra. Under the guidance of Lila Rai on India. All revolutionaries, famous revolutionaries. All with famous carriers. Not that like the career of your Nehru Gandhi's. It was to them the <coughs> liberation of the country is the brand. This man is telling to the Commission, Justice Postal Commission, in 6th, 6972. Evidence page number 3781 to 37822. It's telling Iladi and Onil Rai met with Subhash Chandra last on 12th January 1941. There was a schedule of meetings subsequently, but that situation that was not held. That means Shubhas Bose has left. No question of meeting for Then another deposition of nephew of Shubhas Chandra, that is son of Suresh Chandra Bose. The man is Pradeep Bose in Justice Kusla Commission. Evidence page number 4527. 4529. Date of evidence is 941473 on oath. Here is telling my uncle left on 12th January. No one in Elgin Road has seen my uncle after 12th January. No one. No one. He left on 12th January night. The fact was announced on 26th January that Sunday news were publishing on 27th January. Clear? Few sentences I am. I am. Shishir Bose 
has recently published this story, but Aurobindo has never published any statement. I should personally think that it is a very interesting question of integrity. Still, I would say that if I would have been in Habibur Rahman's position, and if there was not any indication to say otherwise, I would have stuck to the same story. And clearly, Aurobindo has not written anything. He is still now keeping his oath of secrecy. But Sisi is involved nowhere. He is in under no oath of secrecy. He is speaking out nonsense things. It's immaterial. Another thing, yes, yes, this, this R. Tottenham, additional secretary government of India, who issued the this 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 government order on section seven of the restriction and detention ordinance of 1944, uh, three 1944, he was arrested. These and the order is of 7th November 1940. Yes. Yes. Here, another document I want to, you know that, Shottu Buksh. Yes. Shottu Buksh. Famous man, Shottu Buksh. You know the Shottu Buksh? Ask the, this question, who is Shottu Buksh? Ask the journalist of today. Shukta Bokshi was the, was the key person of all the journals of Chitranjan Dash. In that way, the acting editor of all the journals of Chitranjan Dash. And subsequently, a friend of Subhash Chitranjan Dash. And also, editor of some journals of Shubhas Chandra and for him. He is regarded, he was regarded at that time as the grandfather of Indian journalism. And surely, today journalists do not know this name. If you ask the, the students, even of the colleges, who is the father of discovery of radio because the textbooks have taught Mark Kony. The tragic situation, they do not know the name of Jagodish Chandrakosh. Similarly, the persons of the journals of the, of the media world do not know the founding names of the founding fathers of journalism in India. What Shottu Bukshi on oath deposed in the Justice Khosla Commission on 18th August 72, evidence page number 3827, 3828. Yes, he made last Shubhas Chakra in Elgin Road on 12th January. Evidences Shukta Bokshi Sunil Das has quoted, quoting Lilarai or Nilarai and Pradeep Ghosh. So, was Bosch's journey from here on 12th after 12th, just after 12th. And as per Parliament speech of Shoshan Koshekar Shandar. And the coded Bodna, recording Bodna, we can calculate this is either 12th or 13th, like that. And what CC is telling? In the middle of the 60s, he was telling. He left Calcutta with a car on 17th. 
and reached Dhanbad on 18th. Then he changed his story. He started here in the middle of the night and reached on 17th. Story. That's a changing story. And you see now, in his given story, so many holes and so many weaknesses, fallacies. writings there is no corroboration. A story is story. It cannot be history until and unless it is corroborated by many other evidences. Only when a story is corroborated by some other angles, by some other evidences, only that story becomes a part of history. Police report published in New York Times, Gurudev Tagore described him as a dangerous person with revolutionary link according to the reports he was given. Yes, 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 10,000 pounds to Japanese Prime Minister to distribute among the revolutionaries in South Asia. Yes. I have discussed their role, what is in the declassified files, in articles in my volume, that is in my second volume of Subhashtra. But what is not disclosed, what is not published, I will not mix two. I cannot mix two. exactly how we escaped because the real characters who were under oath of secrecy has not divulged okay and i cannot create history can create story a false story a sweet story and why she was created that that manufactured that story could buy the story of this country, of this Bengal was hungry to get a story how Shubhas Chakra has been left in so secretly when the Elgin Road was kept surrounded by so many secret British police. How could? How he could? And there was a hunger of the people to get a story. Kept that, kept that story. And hungry persons, when get some food, has no time to scrutinize. Common people has no, has no time to scrutinize whether this food is good or bad. Similarly, a false story has been said, and people have swallowed it without scrutiny. By that he has got popularity and by that, by that popular mount many other false narrative has been allowed to spread from that false narrative Nehru Gandhi's Indira's has come up from that and use that popular mount of Sishi it's a made popular mount Many false stories, many like the marriage story, Emily Bonita story, many other false narratives, plaintiffs. Sishi has propagated this plaintiff story, marriage story, and 
Sishir was made popular by this escape story. And this is the technique, very old technique. You have to, if you want to use a person as your agent for a bad purpose, before that you have to make the person popular. And Sishir was made popular by that story. Then he has been used by Nehru Gandhi dynasty to spread false stories on atheism. Will I swallow that? There is the utility of Sishi to Nehru Gandhi. And in the 70s, Sishi himself wrote a letter to Indira to give him files to know how his uncle Subhash Chandra Bosch had left Calcutta towards Afghanistan. That clearly means he knew nothing about how Subhash Chandra Bosch has left Calcutta. stop here now. I thought, oh, sorry, one hour. Short, I, sorry, I, <coughs> one hour. One thing I told you, number one, about the Bengal politics I told you. For many times in the last two years I told you, one evening you saw the whole USSR in your, in your globe in front of you and next morning you came up from the bed and you saw the whole USSR at the same The same thing will happen for the this paper. This TMC will collapse like that. From the morning I was thinking, who is the ugliest chief minister of this West Bengal in the history of the last 75 years? Ugliest chief minister. And who is the most cunning chief minister of this Bengal? I do not know. I have not concluded, but possibly Jyoti Bushu is the most cunning chief minister of this West Bengal. Mamata Benerji possibly is the ugliest in the state. And people of West Bengal deserve it. Our mindset, particularly of the intelligentsia, is so polluted and corrupted. We have got it. We deserve it. thinking, I am told you, had there is, there was no birth of the Israel in 1948, long back, in the Nehru Indira era, Pakistan flag could have been placed on Lal Kil in Delhi. The birth of Israel is a divine grace for our Muslim people. The birth of Israel has saved this world. To be attacked from being attacked vigorously by the Islamic world. Keeping Pakistan in front. For many reasons. Israel is there, the Islamic world has to fight continuously with Israel. Their energy is exhausted there to a large extent. And they are not being able to concentrate all their energies against this world. And the ugliest thing, the weakest thing is, the most tragic thing is, for 60 years India has been ruled by Muslims. 
camouflaged anti nationalists. Thanks to God, divine grace, Israel was born in 1948. One thing the history of Judaism and history of Hinduism has got many common components. They are the two most ancient religions of the world, Dharmas of the world. And the tragedy is Jews has been tortured for about 4,000 years. Ages by different forces. And for 2,000 years, they are homeless refugees. Then got their homeland back on a small, teeny desert land in 1948 under the resolution of the UNO. And then being attacked repeatedly by the Islamists. And the fate is similar for the Hindus. For the last 1300 years, for the first 1000 years by the Islamic invaders, and then by the British for nearly 200 years, and then partition, and Hindus in millions are refugees. Their fate is same. The Hindus have to learn many things from the Jews, their conviction, their own faith, their own strong mind, and dream of getting back their own refugee Hindus of this world today want to get back their lost homeland they have to learn from the Jews and in this world the Jews community has given the best of sciences best scientists best artists best musicians Hindus, even of this Bengal, Hindus, has given to the civilizations of humanity the best scientists. Not even Anglo sections has given that much to the human civilization. And Islamic world, what is the contribution? The human civilization. Only in the Middle Ages, this West Asia, the Islamic world, was the medium, was the transport area of wisdom of Bharat towards the Europe. The wisdom of Bharat went to Europe through West Asia. And from there, they are in. And whatever civilizations of the West Asia or North Africa, either Egyptian or Damascus or Babylon, are not of Islam, not of Christianity, but of Sanatan Dharma. Sanatan Dharma. Because by that time, Sanatan Dharma was spreading from the Mediterranean area. This Bharat to Southeast Asia, whole Central Asia, then America, North Africa, all are Sunat of Dharma. Have faith, have conviction. And one thing I am told you you cannot expect the humanity. Respect for the womanhood, mothers from the Islamists. You cannot expect. You cannot expect. And the tragedy is all the political parties under the INDA group, INDA group, 
are the supporters of the Islamic terrorism, Islamic fundamentalists. The tragedy. Can you imagine what is patriotism, what is nationalism during the crisis of Second Great War? They are the ruling party and the opposition combined together. They made national government to face the crisis, to save, to face the crisis. You see how Israel, there is a national government, opposition has joined the government. And you see that here in India, all in the crisis period, the opposition leaders are always opposing the government. Even all even, even, on creative issues, politics to them is the priority. National interest to them is not the priority. Think, 1971 was India was in crisis, fighting Pakistan and the liberation war of East Pakistan, that is the Bangladesh liberation war. But Beijing wholeheartedly supported Indira Gandhi. Not a bad word about Indira Gandhi. No criticism from the central government in that crisis. And when this, do we expect from these political parties under the INDA group any patriotic feeling National issues, national interest is a priority to them. Never. They are all self seeking. All their self, they are seeking their own family interest. All these parties are centering around a family or an individual. All these parties for the family interest and individual interest. They are for their own interest, not never for the country. And all of them are the supporters of the Islamist fundamentalism. In the name of caste censorship, they are again creating a background of further divisions of this world. They are all anti nationals, traitors. Not only anti nationals and traitors, they are anti human. They have no morality. They only are after their own interests of families and individuals. I can't even be aware of that. Be careful of that. And in history, in the last 70 years, many false narratives are created and taught to our boys and girls in the schools, colleges and universities and polluted the mind of the nation. Fear of these scoundrels. Story of Subhas was living this Calcutta in 1941. Whatever is Popularize is a false story. There are many thousands of narratives of history are false. And in our country, historians are paid. No morality. Only on getting money, they will write for you. They are all paid historians, puppet historians. They have no courage, no morality. They have no courage to speak out the truth. Many of the history books in India, in Bharat, has need to be burned into ashes. New history book has to be written. Thank you, my friends.